Dealer Mouth websites for salespeople. I don't know why anyone hadn't thought about it already. Listen, I've always been all about promotion. I've run some of the biggest and well-regarded dealerships in North America, and it's always seen that regardless of what the economy was doing, certain salespeople that continued to market themselves always did well. What was it? They were branding themselves. Well, websites for the salespeople. Think about it. When they're at a party, when they're at the dry cleaner, when they're leaving their card with a tip, they're going to say, listen, here's my card. Look at my site. You know they're not saying go to my dealer's site because the best thing that can happen is the customer is going to stumble across a price on a deal that's already working, 5000 less than they hit them on the lot, and there goes all the uh, negative equity they're going to be able to eat on their suburban trade-in. All it can do is screw up their deal, or they end up at the uh, BDC department splitting the deal with a uh, internet manager, or losing the whole deal, or fighting over whose customer it is, or whatever. There's a lot of negatives to the salespeople sending the customer back to your site. It's not how it should be. Let's just talk about how it is. If it's their own site, they're going to be proud of it. It's going to have endorsements from customers holding up a sign. Thank you, Jimmy, for the new car. It's going to have pictures of their family that they're very, very proud of, them on their ski trip, their puppy, whatever, where they're from. They're going to be building rapport. In that site is going to have your inventory, where the car is still the star. But finally, finally, you have your sales staff out there working for you, using word of mouth through dealermouth.com.